when you've you know when you've got that right hat and say put it on something changes in their face and their eyes sort of glint and you just you, it feels really lovely to know that you've helped somebody feel that special and, and feel fantastic So they'll come in, we'll have a play, try different things on, find some shapes and stuff and sometimes there'll be something that's ready to wear and they can you know, just buy, buy and go or we will design something together and um, so we'd normally find a shape that works and then they might be like, oh I like a bit of this or I, you know, I want some beads or something in it and then um, they, will, they will go away and I'll draw a few sketches, they'll decide which sketch they like um, uh, pay a deposit and then I will make half the hat sort of at a halfway stage and get them back in and they try it on and they'll be like oh I love it oh I don't love it oh do this do that I'll make a few changes and they pick up the hat weddings are the big the big thing I have lots of mother of the bride mother of the groom um, so also the hat, horse racing and hat occasions I generally you know when somebody comes in I'm sort of like you know do you have a hat occasion <laughs> that you're gonna go for you know, when you when somebody comes in to buy a hat, it's not just you're not just talking about the outfit. You know, we talk about the wedding. We talk. You have to get a sense of that person for for you know to design something for them. So we you know we generally end up like having a right old chat because you understand what they're doing with their wedding. You can sort of you know use colours and different things that, and themes and stuff. It's quite an honour to be part of you know people's special day. I was doing an art project one time in Bristol with a young person and I was like going on and on and I was like, you know, it's really important that you need to do art, you need to be creative in your life and they were like, well, what do you do? And I was like, oh, darling, it's not about me, it's about you. And then suddenly, you know, went home that day and was like, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing that gives me this creative purpose that I'm, I'm going on about? At the time, I had actually made a raincoat out of a tablecloth, and I thought, right, I thought at the time you couldn't get a lovely raincoat, so I um, crazily just quit my job, bought a load of uh, tablecloth fabric, went and stayed with my mum and my friend who's a fashion designer, and we made this beautiful jacket out of um, tablecloth material. We were like, wow, I put it on, they were like, oh my god, it's amazing, and then it was like, <laughs> And I couldn't move and sort of had a bit of a like mini life crisis and it doesn't work this idea so, um, my mum was like oh I don't know darling you'll just make something else and I was like like what and she was like hats and uh, yeah there it started we made some crazy cut and sew hats out of the tablecloth and um and then eventually I went and did a course with Jane Smith and it was that moment with Jane who's an amazing milliner um blocking this hat and just the sense of the felt and the blocking, it's just, it's just so exciting. And it was then I kind of was really hooked. Well, I think I'm very lucky actually to be a milliner and be making stuff every day, really. I think it's, I don't know, when you're creating something new and you, it's something, you know, you're just like, wow, and that's gonna really work and you're putting something together and you just find something, you know, it's, it's the sort, same sort of emotion and feeling as like falling in love, I think, and if, you know, if you can feel that every day for making new things that you've created yourself, I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I try and be nice.